All right, uh, give me a second to switch over. And boop. All right. Uh, there we go. So, uh, oh, almost forgot. There we go. Okay, so I gotta deal with an alter ego, and it looks like a uh, caster? Alright, the Chocolate Empire Edinburgh. Probably help if I had the desktop audio on. There we go. I hear a bell ringing. I hear bones too. The harbor shall return to empty shore, but the calamity shall vanish into the distant sky. It's a signifier of the fairy's apology, the sound of a soul accepting its sins. The round fortress shall burn and the bell of water shall appear, once all of them have rung. Confessed sinners shall make the acquaintance of the guillotine. And as for the fairy of paradise, having fulfilled her role, the child of prophecy shall say farewell to her home.
Yes, I offer fairies no salvation. I shall defend my land. Nothing more. I will save the fairies. I will carry out the duty I have been given. With all the magical energy I have stored in this throne, I have nothing to fear from the great calamity. Furthermore, only a chosen fairy can sit this throne. That throne is a sign that my pilgrimage has ended. It's key to keeping Britain alive. Avalon Le Fay, the anchor of paradise. You are neither like other fairies nor that foreign mage. You have been chosen. You are neither a rebel nor an invader. You are the Staff of Selection's chosen wielder. You and you alone have the right to bring me to justice, fairies sent from paradise. Even should you fill oceans with the blood you shed in battle against me, you would be innocent of sin. I've been chosen. I'm not like the fairies of Britain, or my King of Night self from proper human history. I'm neither a rebel nor an invader. No matter how many fairies I kill because of a war I begin, I would still be free of sin. If you wish to save Britain, you must defeat me and claim the throne for yourself. Go then, fulfill that absurd prophecy if you can. You should know better than anyone that you have no choice. That's right, defeating Morgan, the fairy of paradise who forsook her duty is my only choice if I'm going to save Britain. But what happens afterwards? What happens after I do something I don't want to do? Something nobody wanted me to do? I'm a fairy of paradise too. Is there anywhere I can call home? Hello everyone, you got back sooner than I expected. <laughs> Look who's waiting for us out in the middle of the road. Huh? Senpai, Da Vinci. Who is that, and why does he look exactly like red hair? Oh, that's Red Rabbit. He's a fairy from this lost belt and one of our trusty companions. Don't worry, he won't bite. I see. Nice to meet you, Red Rabbit. My name's Mash Kirilite. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. The pleasure's all mine, sweet lady. How deliciously polite of you. Hang on, though. Weren't you supposed to wait for us in Edinburgh? Yes, I was, but I'm not really one for staying put, you know? I thought I might run into you all sooner if I waited near the entrance to the Ashen Shore, so I just ran on up here. All right, then. Up into the wagon. I'll make sure your ride to the Queen City of Edinburgh is as smooth as can be. Uh, that sounds great. I was just thinking I was sick of walking everywhere. <laughs> That's the biggest downside of being summoned as a caster. Your legs get tired way too damn fast. <laughs> hmm? One moment, please. I don't believe we've met before. Oh, my name's Greemer. I'm a friend of uh, Silver Shinobi's. A friend of Silver Shinobi's? Hmm. Th does that mean you're also from pro... pro... propeller humming... Do they even have propellers here? Uh, proper human history? Ah, that's the one. Proper human history. Thank you, Mash. Any girl as thoughtful as you is especially welcome to ride on my wagon. Uh... Mash, could you come here a moment? Let's not indulge him too much, okay? Uh, right. I'm still not sure what your relationships are to one another, but I'll do my best to be careful. So if you're both Silver Shinobi's acquaintances from proper human history, Lord Muramasa, does that mean you and Lord Grimer are two horses of a mane, so to speak? Huh? I guess we're in the same category, technically. Why? Oh, it's nothing. My animal intuition tells me that the two of you are the best of friends. But I can't help but wonder which of you would win in a fight. 
<laughs> what? You gotta ask me, of course. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Ask any fool, and even they can tell you Greenberg be the clear winner. Exactly. Who gives a fig what a fool has to say? All right, you get over there. I'll take it easy on you and only use the back of my sword. Well, I'm impressed you can tell which is which. That thing's so dull it might as well be a club. <laughs> All right, punk, you're going down. <laughs> okay, I, I love that kind of... All right, uh... So I'm guessing we're going with either... Okay. Oh, so we're... So we're fighting both of them. Okay. So, let's see. I guess I'll bring in my rider team for this one. Uh, let's go with Teach. Uh, rider Carmilla. I might need a night class or two to help mitigate Muramasa's uh, damage output. Uh, Karna. And... Tesla. Should do it. Mm. All right, let's see. Okay, I'm definitely going to need to... F He has extra damage against, but he doesn't really have any defense from incoming damage from the cavalry classes, I think. So, 